Okay, welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to do is create a reusable motor. And um, this motor, we're going to be able to attach any part we want to it and spin it. So in order to create a motor, we need two pieces. One is going to be the engine and one is going to be the part that spins. And we're just going to we're just going to use two blocks for this. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a block. And um, I want to change the size first. So let's make this size 222. Two, two. So I'm going to use the size property here in the properties window. So 222. Two, two. Okay. Now I'm going to move this uh, away a little bit from my platform, my spawn location. Um, yeah, I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Now I'm going to make a, a copy of this and move it over. But first, let me show you the settings that I have here. So in the model menu, um, over here with the snap to grid. Let me show that to you. This section here, I have them both on. I have both rotate and move on. And rotate is going to move 45 degrees and move is going to move one stud. And you could make this uh, 0 0.5 studs as well. That would work. Okay, so um, we have snap to grid on and I have collisions off here have collisions off because I want it to be when I make a copy I want it to be in the exact same position so I press duplicate and then I move it away okay and um, this one I actually want to change the color to a sort of bluish there we go so now I have two blocks one pink one a light blue and I'm going to rename these so the pink one I'm going to rename motor engine so motor and whoops engine okay and the blue one i'm going to rename motor spin this is the part that's going to spin and we want to have these different colors because when we attach things to the motor we're going to want to attach to the blue part not the pink part okay the other thing we want to do is we want to anchor the pink part but we do not want to anchor the blue part anything that moves cannot be anchored okay so we have our motor engine and we have our motor spin. And now what we want to do is we want to attach the motor between these two parts. Okay, how do we do that? Well, the first thing that you want to do is you want to kind of move your, whoops, you want to move your camera to where you can see both of these inside faces. And this just makes it a little easier. So I'm going to use shift W, whoops, shift W to zoom in slowly. Yeah, anytime you hold shift and you push any of the camera move buttons, it does it much slower than normal, which is good because it lets you position things really, really well. Okay, so now I can see both of these inside faces, which is where we're going to make the connections for our motor. Okay, so make sure you can see both of these faces and make sure you're zoomed in. Uh, you should have everything renamed, uh, the pink one anchored, the blue one not anchored. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and connect our uh, engine, our motor. And the way we do that is we go into the model menu. Okay, and over here there is this create button. Okay, and let me highlight this whole section because we need to make sure we have a few things uh, turned on. Okay, so this is the section we're focusing on right now. And what you want to do is make sure that show wells, constraint details, and draw on top are turned on. Right now they're turned off, so they're gray. When they're on, they turn black. Okay, so make sure all three of those are on. It helps you see the um, the constraints better. And now what we want to do is um, we don't have anything selected. You can just click on empty space, and we click on the create button, the bottom part. And when you do that, you see this list of constraints. These are all of the constraints that we can that we can um, attach. What we're going to attach is the third one down, this hinge, because um, that's where the motor is. Okay, so click on hinge. And now what you want to do is hover over the inside face of the pink cube. Make sure it's in the middle. And uh, click on it. And that's going to put a little green sphere there. And then go over to the inside face of the blue cube. Make sure you're in the middle. And click on that. Okay. And we've done it. We've attached our motor. And if you look over here in the Explorer, you'll see that there's been a few things added. We have a hinge constraint, we had attachment zero, and we have attachment one. 
Okay, so um, we've wired up our motor. All we have left to do is to change a few settings and this is ready to go. Okay, so click on hinge constraint and we're gonna change the type because there's actually three different types of hinges. Right here under actuator type, the property. Right now it has none. We're gonna change that to motor. Okay, and if you do that, it gives you a few more properties. It gives you these motor properties. And the motor max acceleration, we're not gonna change that one. The um, angular velocity, I'm just gonna make a one, but this is how fast your motor spins, okay? And then the motor max torque is how strong your motor is. So if you don't make it very strong, then when you step on the motor, it's gonna stop. So you have to make this really strong. So I'm gonna pick 100,000, or maybe a million actually, one with six zeros, hit enter. Okay, now we've set the speed, we've set the torque, the power, and now we should be able to test this motor. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit play, and there's a little blue play button right here at the top. If not, you can always go back to the home menu and push play there, okay? And hopefully our little motor will spin, and it does. So now we have a motor spinning, and we have this little blue part that's spinning and not the pink part. And the blue part is what we're going to attach to. Okay, so let me hit stop. And you might have noticed that when we um, pushed play, these two pieces were kind of pulled together. And it does that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and move one of them closer to the other. So I'm just gonna move motor spin over to where it's right next to motor engine. There it is. Okay, now they're both together. And if we push play again, um, it'll do the same thing. This time they won't be pulled together because they're already right next to each other. Okay, so we've actually built a motor. So let me go ahead and um, save this. So what you want to do is select all of this. So I think if you select with the window, let's see. Yeah, see, it forgot to include the hinge constraint. It did everything else. I think if you saved it, it would still include the hinge constraint. But just to be safe, use control left click to select it as well. So you should have all five of those things selected. Motor engine, attachment zero, hinge constraint, motor spin, and attachment one. Now with all of those um, selected, go ahead and save it to your toolbox. So I'm gonna go ahead and save to Roblox. Give it a name. Oh, and it called it attachment for some reason. Not really sure why. But I just rename it to motor and you can allow copying or not allow copying, and then just hit submit. I already have one in my toolbox, so I'm not gonna hit submit this time, um, but I'm gonna just um, discard this stuff. Okay, now let me show you the one that I built in the toolbox, and you can always use this one. It's the one that I use all the time. Um, if I go to toolbox, and if you search under models, um, and you're in the marketplace, just type in pop fizz motor, two words, and it'll bring you up, oh, wait, did I misspell it? Hold on, what's it called? Pop is, oh, maybe I have to capitalize it. Hmm, let me try that again. Models, it is models. Let's try it again. So pop, fizz, motor, maybe I misspelled it. Huh, oh, you know what? There might be, there might be a bug right now. Let me see if there's any pop fizz stuff. Hold on, maybe I'm, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing for, wait, this is for the marketplace. There's nothing for pop fizz, huh? I wonder if spelling counts. Okay, so um, for some reason, oh wait, am I still, no? Well, let me see if anything else works. Let's try bird. Yeah, that works. But for some reason, pop fizz isn't working. Um, This might just be a bug with, um with with Roblox right now. But you can see that in my inventory, I've already saved one. I have a pop fizz motor and it's okay because you can just save your own. Um, not sure why my stuff isn't showing up in, not sure why my stuff isn't showing up, but oh well, uh, hopefully it'll come back later. It does this sometimes. Okay, so um, now that you've saved this motor to your toolbox, we can uh, attach it to anything that we want to. And in the next video, I'll show you how to attach this video, I mean, how to attach this motor to other parts to make uh, them spin, okay? So I'll see you then.